Hello everyone, welcome to our remastered LP on Crash Bandicoot 1 and sadly we're going to have to go back to the original format because the debut video capture software well it, you can stress the video to widescreen but then the quality just looks the same, it's just stretching it not like adding extra bits to the camera so yeah, so this is so Crash Bandicoot 1 on the PS3. Yeah, and stretching it made it seem like a bit, like, I don't know, a bit blurry or something, so that's out of the question. Yeah. <coughs> Are you going to drag it back? I can even laugh. Okay. So this is Crash Bandicoot 1. Released in August the 31st, 1996. They created by Naughty Dog. Developed by Naughty Dog. Yeah, apparently it doesn't have his control today, as you would say. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, because this is just one player. Yeah. Yeah, as you can tell, this is the PAL version, because it says Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. 1996. And this LP, however, will not be like 100% because we'll be using the password at the end. Well, why can't we do it 100%? Because it's quite hard to do it 100% without save states. I've done it a few times before, but I'm not sure if I could do it another time, anyways. So we let's so we wait for the cutscene? Yeah, let's wait for the cutscene so we can show the plot of the game and then people will be able to get a picture of what this game's about, so. Yeah, and we might do a an Origins LP as well. Yeah. To add to it. I've done the nail in the one it let's play you can any of you guys wanna watch it because it's kind of good. I drank, I drank my drink already. Oh yeah, did I mention that the cell peelers with help from Cool Prime 95? Because I don't think I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay. But Dr. Cortex, we have not determined the cause of past. Failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my hero, and he will lead my Cortex Commandos to world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant! <laughs> we are closer than ever before! Quickly, into the Vortex! But Dr. Cortex, the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Keep it laughing, Embry. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Prepare the female bandicoot. bandicoot. So can you explain the plot of the game now? Yes, well, so that basically shows what it is. Basically, Crash Bandicoot was created by Cortex to originally destroy the world, but then he turns out to be rejected out of the castle, so Crash is a good guy. Yeah, he, he was originally a bad guy and became a good guy. Yeah, he was supposed to be a bad guy, but then I think something went wrong in the, in the Evolvo rail or something. And plus, as Brio said, the machine wasn't ready, so no. maybe that was the reason. Yeah, it probably was. Anyway, moving on to Insanity Beach. The Which, opening level of this game. Yeah, and also Insanity Beach is the home place, Crash's home. And as you can see on the right side, there's a shipwreck. Yeah, you can see it's a shipwreck. So, this is D-pad, not analog. Yeah, because you cannot use analog sticks in this game because analog was invented in 1997, not 1996. <coughs> As you can see, there are, there are a whole range of enemies, like there's crabs and stuff like that. But you'll see a whole other range of enemies later. Obviously, fall down or you die. Everyone knows that. <coughs> Anyways, in order to get a gem, you have to break all the boxes in the levels, so you can, so you can get the gem. Um, but, but in Crash One, especially, you have to, you have to do the entire level and break all the boxes, or do the entire level without dying. Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah. Anyways, now we've got the invincibility. You can collect three upper upper masks, and if you're quick enough. You'll be able to do the box bridge trick. Like so. Yeah. That's so cool, wasn't it, guys? 
Yeah. However, it's not that easy to do if you're not like if you're not like fully experienced, or maybe at least um, just about the right amount of experience in these games. <coughs> yeah, I uh, can't do that bit, so yeah, come on. Anyways, and that got us our first gem, which is good. I'm gonna save it in slot 15. Yeah, I've or done a 10. lot of um. Let's do it in slot 10. Nice empty slot. So I've done um. <coughs> I've got a 26% on there. That's good. Not bad for a beginner. Anyways, the second Jump level of the game is Jungle Rollers and. In this level, you see something different that you have to collect. You have to collect three of them. They are called Tornado tokens, and, and the Tornado is basically that female bandicoot that got locked up in a tower. And here are TNT crates, but some of them, they just have a three-second countdown, then they explode. Uh, there are three types of bonus rounds: Tornado, Rio, and Quick. Yeah, well said. Uh, and the cool bits are ones where you collect the keys. I'm going to use our first toy token. I'm watching invisibility again. Yeah. Second time invisibility this level. Yeah. Well, because I'm that good. And these rolling stones, you shouldn't actually hit them, otherwise you've got If you've got invisibility, see, see? then yeah, it's okay. See? You, you, you hear them by mistake. And there's also a blue gem here, which is supposed to be appearing here, but the reason why it appears in and disappears because you need to get the gem from the other level, the green gem, in order to unlock that part. And it acts as a platform. Ten the lot already and it isn't even the second stage. So yeah, and that's the trick you have to do between those two TNT crates. Otherwise you would die. Well you won't die if you have an Oculus ma Ocu mask then you'll lose the mark. Technically. Anyways, here's the third toilet token. And basically First bonus round. <coughs> yeah, this is the first bonus round of the level. Of the game. Yeah, Pretty straightforward. And as you guys have seen that female bandicoot in the cutscene, well that female bandicoot is in every one of these taller bonus rounds, and yes, her name is Torna. And yeah, she is Crash's girlfriend, but I don't know how they managed to become girlfriend and boyfriend in just a split second. Yeah, well, and <laughs> that's it, how it happened. It is also rumoured that she left Crash for um, Pinstripe. Yeah, at the end. There are rumours, but it's <coughs> probably not true, so. Yeah, so, anyways, Torna was basically locked up in the tower, and Crash has to go all over the islands, three islands, in order to rescue Torna. So they can be reunited again. Yeah, uh, you'll see that at, at the end of the game, so. Yeah, oh, so that's the first level clear, basically. Yeah, so we've said a lot. Whoa, glitch! <laughs> <laughs> I stood on top of the... I actually stood on top of the portal and it didn't take crash up for some reason. And yes, and we missed three boxes because that area with the green gem appearing and disappearing and reappearing has three boxes up at the top. And we cannot get there without that platform. And we need to get the green gem in the lost city, which we'll encounter a later on. The great game, level three. <laughs> the great gate. Moving on to the great gate. Now here's where the natives live. Uh, and the native fortress here, you get torn the bone town start of uh, I tore on the token at the start. Yeah. It's a native fortress. And there's a life up there. Yeah. There's a life up here, but you have to be quick in order to get it. <coughs> but the thing is that I don't see how Torna can, like, in the bonus round, I don't see how she can be locked up in the tower and be up in those trees in the bonus rounds at the same time. I don't really see how they can do that. Yeah, but in the Japanese version of the bonus round, if you come up to her in the bonus round, she immediately, she disappears. Yeah, it just, it just shows her turning round and then she disappears. <coughs> and 
is the second bonus round of the game. The Vistar! The bonus rounds are pretty simple, aren't they? Yeah, but then they get hard on the other reach. <laughs> so yeah, they just thought they'd do that just to level up the skills. Level up the difficulty, I mean. <coughs> so, yeah, here we are again. Three levels in one gym. And no key check. Yeah, because we've got ages until the court it's bonus round. Yeah, you need to burp. <laughs> What's the problem? It's just your pants. That's it, you need to burn up, that's it. Oh, yeah, I need to Oh, that's so close. Anyways, let's start the end of it anyway. <coughs> and those yellow gems, yeah, we need to get the yellow gem in order to get that alternative card. Eight boxes. I need to eight boxes. to the fourth level of the game and this is where Crash gets chased by a boulder but if you guys have seen Indiana Jones or something like that like before Crash Bandicoot or something then this will probably remind you of that because as you can see Indiana Jones gets chased by a boulder so I think this is why some people say that this is like this resembles to Indiana Jones ah ah hit them in Indiana Crash True. I think that that was the name of Classic Team one one in the fifth box. Oh yeah, because he did let's play on that as well. Yeah, yeah. And have you seen um Crash Bank Card Club in the Club yet? Yeah, I've seen that. Good. Yeah. Yeah, he's been LP in Crash too. Just like he was. Yeah. Well we're doing Crash. Yeah, but I'm doing Toby X for Japanese. I'll get to that soon. Yeah, I know we're back to that shortly. It'll be so good. Yeah, so good. as soon as possible. Yeah. As soon as you've broken all the boxes in this level and made it through successfully without dying, we got our second gem. Don't know, maybe these videos might get more views because of all the descriptions and all that. <coughs> yeah, maybe we need to write, write a description. Yeah, maybe it's because... Well, maybe it's because of the way you've been describing things, maybe that will bump up the views or something other than Yeah. Anyways, moving on to up, upstream. Sorry for my stumbling in mid-speech. Yeah, so, uh, so we can't do Crash Bash today then. No, sadly not. What have we got? But anyways, basically you're up the stream. Well, some sort of And the Japanese version of these logs are actually bigger, but... But we're playing the European versions. And it's digital download for the PS3. Oh, that's so close. Yeah, yeah, you don't hear the, um, the exclamation mark thing, that is an upper creek. Yeah, that's an upper creek, which is another level that's like this. And, as you can see, that Crash just jumps on top of these leaves in order to get across the other platforms and stuff, seeing as there are no other platforms there, so that's the only way you can get across the river. Yeah, and after every bonus round you complete, it turns to check. So yeah, it turns into like the checkpoint box. And as you can see in this level, we just broke the checkpoint like, I don't know, at least like over 10 seconds ago or something like that. <coughs> yeah, and it's going to create another checkpoint. And then you'll be saying like, why are there two checkpoints in between? And like, not that far away from each other. Well, in a way, it was kind of handy. Then it saves you, if you get that checkpoint 
in front, then it could it saves you from those plants down behind us. Yeah, we can do a rain and all this because that's one play. Yeah, that's two plays actually. Well, well, it can be one play, it can be. Yeah, it can be, but we'll do it for two players. What game is it for? It's got to be one for two. Most of my games are two players. Most of my games are one for two. No, we're only one for two. Okay, so we're facing up against Poppy Poppy this time, who is like, I don't know, like, yeah, fat bastard who's king to the natives, and he's a native himself. And that is, that's my level this plot, basically. Yeah, we're fighting that spaz, Poppy Poppy. Come on, Fatty. I got that from Bulls of Steel. Come on, Fatty. And as you see, every time he slams a podium down, he just jump on top of his head. And then... Uh, there's five hits in the Japanese game. Even when he's spinning it around, you can just... jump on top of his head. It's easy. Look, I killed him just like that. Well, I defeated him, basically. And you went to see bunk threat. I oh, know. <laughs> Rolling Stones is the next one. Yeah, so let's move on to this level. Anyways, as you said about in the Poppy Poppy boss, yeah, you take five hits instead of three. But I think the Japanese version should just try to just make it harder or something like that. I don't know. But probably just did. I think that's what they intended to do. But anyways, yeah, moving on. So what, so what level are we going up from this thing then? In this book, yeah. After this one is Hogwarts. And then it's made of course the next thing Yeah, it's the end of the island. Mm. Yeah, Yes, so now we've got a Brio bonus, which is a new take. And basically, well you don't get anything from Brio bonus rounds, they're just there. Even if you complete them, they're still there. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, for some people. Yeah, so you've got to be really careful. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. This is our second tour of the 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 level. As you can see, it's quite hard to dodge all these if you're not that big. I've also seen that it's quite pointless having invincibility here when there's a tour bonus up here and then you only have it for like a short time and plus you're just, you're just going to lose the invincibility when you complete the tour bonus round anyway so it's actually quite pointless but for those people who only had at least one of the mask, they could at least have two, so I think I see their point of putting that there. Or if no one, or if they didn't have enough working mask and they needed one, probably that was the one they can use. So we've got, that's the auto rifle ready. And it isn't even in the first part yet. So, yeah, we didn't die once. Anyways, it's 15% complete the game. Six level, two gems, no key. See how back here we go. Same old jungle, same old uh, uh, And there's a blue thing there. Yeah, that's the blue gem that appears and reappears, but you can go down there, but the things that that's actually quite ridiculous because if you actually like go down there with the blue gem, you don't die. But if you go down there without the blue gem part with the platform, then yeah, you do die, which is utterly ridiculous. Three brios equal the bonus. <coughs> yeah, this is really hard for some people. I mean, if people wanted to get my cup from there, then they could at least they could at least made a ladder or something or a staircase of iron crates. Anyways, that's how they made the game. Can't change it. And Brio 
blows himself up. Yeah, with those two potion cups. Explosive potion cups. Mm. <coughs> yeah, the crazy scientist. Like that. So yeah, they're both like the two nerds uh, in the no, game. No, 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 Anyway, it's Quirx and Brio, as you can see, are the two nerds of the game that created all the bosses. You missed a lot of boxes. <coughs> well, six isn't basically a lot, but yeah, that was a few. And that was down that blue gem pot. Anyways, moving on to Hogwarts. One of uh, the most fun levels. And there's a harder one later on called Hogwarts, which is even harder. Yeah, and you have to unlock it with a quarter to go in from the key. Anyways, Crash just rides a hog basically, and that's it, but you can't like. Uh, the only thing you can do is jump, and you've left them out. That's basically what you can do. This would be an easier way of analogue. Yeah, for those who are used to animal, but I'm used to both, so. In this case, I'm okay. And also, the music's quite nice as well. gem of the game which is this is quite an easy level according to for the experienced crash players Bankute 1, the Japanese version. But yeah, the things that some people said that um, the name for insanity was <coughs> like a pun or something, but I don't know what sort of pun it might be, but yeah, sort of a pun, or either the N stood for North, or North Sanity Beach. But That's what Ratchet 5 said in his LP. Yeah, but... Well, 
I don't know, maybe. But, but I don't see why would they put that as a part. <laughs> I don't see why would they put an N uh, as a part, N and a dot as a part. Because it could at least stand for something. But yeah, Rapture 5 is actually right. I don't see the point either. Yeah, that's one of the native guys. Saying oh, saying that going jet 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 And of course you can't get something like that. Or you can yeah, glitch. Yeah, if you do that glitch in the level of casting machine, which we'll get to in some part soon. And there's a light on there. We just completed it in and <coughs> and that's the end of the part, people. And yeah, Koilux will be remembered for his own Let's Play series of Crash Bandicoot One called Crash Tours. Yeah, he'll be remembered for that. Yeah, so. Yeah, actually it's Rippleroo, because Rillaroo wasn't in until Crash Bash. <coughs> Anyways, we'll be doing the level up the creek in part two, so see you guys in part two. 